Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and today we're going to be going over the all new 2020 Chevy 1500 High Country with the 6.2 liter. So, as always, we're gonna do a quick walk around on the truck, then we're gonna take it out to see how it drives. A big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller Chevy here in Murray, Utah for providing us with the high country. Check out the inventory in the link below if you're in the market for a new Chevy. So, oh, like I said, this has the naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 16 around town and then 20 on the highway, which is actually really solid for how powerful this engine is. It's got 420 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque. Now let's finish things up on the front end of the high country. So let's go to the top. You can see it's got the little 6.2 liter badging right there. It says high country there on the side. We've got the full LED lights here up front we've got kind of like the little led accent lights just down below right there it says high country there on the front if you guys can see blacked out chevy bow tie i really like this accenting right here just like the color difference it looks really good have to see it in person but you guys can see tow hooks just right there down below we've got the fog lights as well and then here's just one more look at the front end so around the side here we've got 22 inch rims 275 millimeter tires and also on the rear, pretty standard setup on a truck. This one's got the cool running boards, which we'll go over later. Those are kind of tucked and hidden away. It's got the key fob here for the high country. So you can see that we've got a couple functions. You've got your lock and unlock, remote start, tailgate function as well. So if we lock the truck, hold down the remote start function, wait for it. You can hear that 6.2 liter come to life. And then if you press it again, it'll shut it right off. Wait for it, wait for it. There we go. So you can see the tailgate will slow lower down. This one has a full bed liner, so it's got like this kind of plastic covering right here and then spray in on the other part of the bed, as you can see. LED lights right here. You've got the full little plug right there, so you can, you know, make some toast. Every YouTuber says that, I've got to say it, you can make toast in your bed. Boom, it says high country there on the back. You've got the cab lights just up above. And then if we come over back to the tailgate, lifting it up, it is really light and easy to get into place. You can see the back of the truck now. Silverado, high country, dual outlet exhaust. You got the receiver hitch right there. All of your plugins for towing right next to it. And then you got this cool little bed step. So you obviously can put this, your foot here. So it makes getting, you know, access to the bed a lot easier. And then we're right at the taillights. So you can see full LED taillights. I really like the taillights on the new Silverados. You guys have heard me say that a million times, but it's true. Ooh. So we can see the door panel here in the rear. You've got the full kind of like leather padding, wood trim here on the side. You've got the door handle, some stitching right there. And then you can see the seats in the rear. Here's kind of like a full view on them. So got a little storage space behind the seats. And then if you pick up the seats, you got more storage space. And obviously it's got a little container right there. And we've got the cup holders that pop out right here. All of our charging stations, you got the heated seats in the rear, vents, cup holders just up above and then you can see you've got little mat pockets and then rubber floor mats in this one keyless entry so one touch to lock it and then one touch to unlock it you can see the running board will pop right out again now we can see the door panel here in the front so again we've got that leather padding wood trim right here bose sound system more of our window controls mirror controls are right there memory seats you've got your door lock and unlock i actually like the feeling of the door handles by the way now here is the seat in the front of the high country so you can see we've got the full leather seats it says high country there at the top nice perforations in it and then you can see you've got the seat adjustments right there pedal layout is just down below with the little hood latch release parking brake right there you've got all of your light controls right here for the high country fog lights cargo light here's your drive mode select so you've got your auto two wheel high four wheel low four wheel high and then you've got your little trailer tow mode and then the steering wheel is going to be manually adjustable to start up the high country all you have to do is put your foot on the brake push seat push start everything will come to life and wait for it gauges will do a sweep so here is the steering wheel on the high country let's zoom in on it so you can see chevy bow tie which i think is interesting that they have the one outside blacked out but then they don't have this one blacked out i think that they should just have some consistency with it ram has the same issue they don't black out all their badging when they have it blacked out on the outside but anyways we got over here, they got little control pad, voice commands, phone control right there. Got this nice little trim right here with the contrasted stitching. Over here is your cruise control. You can see your collision warning, heated steering wheel button, radio controls are on the back of the steering wheel. And then that's your stock for turn signal, windshield wiper, all that kind of stuff, flashing your brights. And over here, 
is your column shifter. You can select the gears yourself if you want. So it's got like the little plus minus buttons for that 10 speed automatic transmission. And yeah. We've got our gauge cluster right here. So RPMs on the left side, on the right side, we've got the speed. And then you can see that there's that little center stack. So it's a couple different menus that you can scroll through. As you can see, it's in the demo mode. So it's not like fully letting me go into them, but just like all the other upgraded Chevys, it has all these little screens, which is a nice touch. I really like this trim that goes around here, just the finish on it. It kind of has like this sort of like Western vibe to it, but not being super hardcore, just like it. You can see the center touch screen though, that is all around it. And response time on it is actually really good. Um, I'd say that this is kind of on the better end of response time for touch screens. You can see the navigation load up. That did take a second, but you can see functionality on it's pretty good. You've got the Apple CarPlay Android Auto and if I can wiggle it into reverse, you can see a backup camera will pop up with a little bird's eye view and you can see that there's a ton of different camera views that you can see out of on the high country. So, I mean, in terms of parking this truck, it is the easiest to park just because of all the different camera views that you get and just how much you can actually see with this camera system. So we have our analog controls for the radio, dual zone climate in the front. You've got your heated seats, ventilated seats, on top of that, so all that's in that little area. This is the part we'll go over in a minute, that's with the running boards. You got your little charging stuff, you've got your stability control, hazard lights, tailgate release, auto stop start, parking sensors, lane departure assistance, trailer brakes. These are all your little charging stations you can see right here. This is for your phone charging, it does have wireless charging which is nice, cup holders. Here's the full center console and you can lift it up. You can see there's even more storage underneath. And then it does have a dual glove box. So you can see, boom, bam. Opens up just like that, really simple. Good amount of storage. Now to the steps. So this button, you can press it and it'll change some functions. So you can see, if I press it, it already popped out. If I press it again, it'll kind of make them go back. So then you get access, obviously, to the bed of the truck. And then if I press it again, it'll make the steps come back in and yeah, you're just back to normal. So we've got a little sunroof up top here. Let's a little bit more light into the cabin. All the controls for the sunroof up there, light controls, all of that. Everything up top is a pretty standard and simple set up. Let's finish things up in the high country by going over pricing. So this particular high country stickers for about $67,000 before any type of market adjustment, which is pretty similar pricing. It's a little bit less than like an F-150 limited. It's kind of more in like the F-150 platinum price range. And then Ram 1500 limited, it's pretty close in price. Um, relatively just depends on options. And I also forgot to mention, this has the cool new mirror system. So there you go. Let's take out the high country to see how it drives. So before we set off in the high country, let's talk about visibility. So you can see visibility over the hood is really good. You can see visibility throughout both of the mirrors as well. And then through the rear of the high country, high up off the ground, just like any other pickup truck. And so it's just easy to see out of. And now wait for it. Let's set off. So initially setting off in the high country, let's talk about road noise and ride quality. So in terms of road noise, the cabin's actually really well insulated. You don't hear a whole lot of wheel and tire noise. Um, most of the noise you hear is from that 6.2 liter wind noise. It's pretty well insulated from that as well. And then in terms of ride quality, it's exceptionally smooth. I would say that it's probably really close to Ram. Ram just right now is killing it in terms of ride quality, but this is like almost, it's like, okay, if Ram was like number one, this is like number like 1.1, .1, if that makes sense <laughs> at all. So we're making a little turn here and the steering wheel is really good. So the steering is very light. I mean, it's relatively direct in terms of how direct the Chevy is. I would say that it's, you know, pretty much on par with all the other trucks. It's just right there in the middle. It's not more direct. It's not less direct. It's just right there in the middle. So it's kind of like the perfect balance. Let's get a little acceleration here. Nothing crazy though. Yeah, tons of torque from that 6.2 liter. I mean, 460 pound-feet of torque is no joke. And so, I mean, acceleration on this truck is really strong. So, 
here's the thing is right now in terms of powertrains chevy just i'm gonna i'm just gonna say it they win because they still have a v8 engine which is what everyone's asking for is they still have a v8 engine they got a 10 speed automatic which is super solid fuel economy is you know a little bit less than ford and dodge but it's pretty close power is definitely higher than the dodge it's a little bit less torque than the ford but it's more horsepower than the ford um not the raptor obviously but you know like a you know platinum f-150 which like i said this is probably closer price to um or like a king ranch and so you get a v8 and you get all that power and torque and everything and it's just in terms of like the powertrain i feel like this is the best offering right now on the truck market so to sum things up i mean it's kind of it's kind of a toss-up right ram has the nicest interiors a lot of people like the exterior of ford and then everyone loves the powertrain of the chevy right now so it's kind of a little bit of a toss-up so it just depends on what's important to you right is the interior materials the most important to you is how the powertrain performs the most important to you or is it the exterior looks so you kind of got to decide that for yourself but the high country is definitely a super solid offering so if you're in the market for a new truck definitely check out the chevys as well as the other trucks as well. And I said as well way too many times, sorry. There we have it everyone, the 2020 Chevy 1500 High Country. Really like this truck if you're looking for kind of like a somewhat Western themed truck, but not overly cowboyish, if that makes sense. Really solid offering. I love the 6.2 liter. You heard that in my driving impressions. But as always, if you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you think. And then I will see all of you in that next video. Oh, and I forgot to mention, check out Larry H. Miller Chevy Murray's inventory in the link below. It'll be in the description.